In Iran, just as in any other country around the world, there's difference of opinion. Whether it's tribal traditions, philosophy, politics, ideology, there are so many different views. But when it comes to Iran's territory, one notion is for sure, defense. When Iraq attacked Iran after the Islamic Revolution, Iranians from all stands rushed to the rescue of their country borders. The Iran-Iraq war, known as the Holy Defense here in Iran, was a momentous event in the contemporary history of Iran. Yara el is taking us to a museum where the brave Iranians are commemorated. In Farsi, Defaye Muqaddas translates into the Holy Defense. That's one of the ways in which the Iran-Iraq war is described in Iran today. That's because of the impact the war had on the history and formation of the Islamic Republic. But now, over 20 years after the war's end, Iran's capital city finally has a place dedicated to honoring this shared national experience. The Iran-Iraq war was one of the longest wars of the 21st century lasting nearly eight years. It was a brutal conflict that resulted in hundreds of thousands of deaths on both sides. It began when Iraq carried out a series of airstrikes intended to damage the Iranian Air Force on the ground, but the war quickly escalated to devastating ground battles. Although the museum is still in construction, it's set to open in about 20 days or so, it's going to be the biggest and most prominent Iran-Iraq war museum in the country. The construction of the museum was financed and coordinated by Tehran's municipality. All in all, it took over three years to complete the project. When Iraq invaded Iran in late 1980, the site of the first major armed conflict between Iraqi and Iranian troops was the city of Khoram Shah. After 38 days, Iraq managed to capture the city. But the last place to fall in Khoram Shah, the last stronghold in which Iranians sought refuge, was the central Khoram Shah Mosque. And this is a recreation of that. When Iran reclaimed Khoram Shah about a year and a half later, the central mosque came to be recognized as a symbol of Iran's resistance and endurance. You see those fountains over there? In a couple hours, the museum's going to put on this awesome water and light show. Every night in the museum's large amphitheater, there's a nightly program that includes singing and comedic acts, and it's hosted by famous Iranian celebrities. But the main draw is the water and light show, which uses a large ring of fountains and seven state-of-the-art laser projectors to create a fascinating interplay between water and light. Now, we've all seen really big fountain setups like this before, but what makes this one interesting to me is the reflection of light on the individual streams of water. Another really interesting piece about this is that each individual stream is controlled separately. So it has its own color of light and its own water pressure as well. seen this many fog machines before, but here what's really cool is that they all act at the same time to produce layers of fog around the entire amphitheater. And when the projector hits them with light, it creates a sort of volumetric three-dimensional effect. Here, five laser with seven projections are 
که میتونن هم روی فواره ها هم روی پرده آب گرافیک لیزری تولید بکنن و هم میتونن با ایجاد مه توی محیط افکت های اتمسفریک تولید بکنن و افکت های در واقع حجمی ما داشته باشیم یکی از دستگاه های لیزر ما قدرت ترین لیزر های نمایشی هستش که توی یه مکان ثابت نصب شده با این دستگاه ما میتونیم حتی دشکو های البرز رو توی شمال تهران هم روشون با لیزر در واقع تصویر پخص بکنیم The grand opening of this museum is planned for the anniversary of the first Iraqi attack on Iranian soil. And by then, Iranians will have something grand by which to remember this historic event. Reporting for Iran, I'm Yara Elmjoo.